All right, <clears throat> this is just a brief, quick tutorial on how to make a breakable uh, object in a Unity scene. Uh, you can use this for, uh, we use this specifically for our Quest VR game, although this can be used for any sort of uh, Unity project. So I have here uh, the breakable pot uh, asset that's just available in the Unity asset store for free. Uh, and let's just Let's just play this here to show you quickly what it's going to look like. So, breaks like that when it hits the floor, um, or when it gets hit by a certain amount of force. So, uh, the way this is set up, this is actually pretty simple. So this here is our uh, regular vase uh, asset right here, uh, that I've just set up here so that it falls in a slightly more interesting way. And then over here, you can see we have a rigid body and mesh collider assigned to it. Uh, and if you have just those two, I'll get rid of this. We'll talk about this in just a minute. Uh, if you have those two set up, as well as a floor here that has a mesh collider, uh, it will just fall there on the floor. It's regular physics, pretty easy. Um, so then the second step is to just have it uh, break. So. The other piece of this that you will need is a uh, second uh, version of the vase uh, that is broken. So we have that here in the in the asset store. The, this prefab uh, comes with a whole or not broken as well as a broken version. Um, and so uh, before we do anything, we're going to want to go into this prefab and open it up. And so we can see that this one specifically has four distinct parts of the uh, broken uh, vase that are already all made. So uh, what we want to do then is go into each part uh, and assign a mesh collider that's convex as well as a rigid body. Uh, and do that for all four parts uh, so that they both have physics and will collide with uh, all the other uh, collider objects. Uh, and then save it. So you can go back to your, your scene by just clicking right here. And so uh, to get to that, you click on the prefab and click open prefab, it's pretty simple. So once you have that prefab all set up, the last thing to do, uh, this is the last step, is we're going to put a script on this object here that says when this object uh, hits something with a certain amount of force, a certain amount of velocity, delete this whole object and replace it with this broken uh, object, which is this, the broken version of that same, same object that we set up. So. Uh, I already have uh, the the script here, so let's look at it. It is pretty simple, as well as there is some section of this that um, isn't, it's commented out, so it's not super important. So the important part's here. Uh, we're just gonna set it up as a regular Unity script, uh, so that it starts, updates every frame, all that good stuff. The important bits here are a public game object that we've called here, destroyed vase. You can call these whatever you want. Uh, just make sure they're descriptive so you know what you're um, looking at. You might say destroyed object if you're making this generic. And then we have a void uh, function that's called uh, on collision enter. Collision collision. Uh, and then this port right here is commented out so it's going to start here. If the collision's relative velocity, uh, the magnitude of that is greater than three, and this is the thing that you can uh, edit if you would like it to be more force, a uh, different type of force, this is where that can be edited. If that happens, then you're going to instantiate uh, a destroyed vase object with the same transform position and rotation as this one we're deleting, and then we're going to destroy this one that we're going to delete. So if we take this and just drop it on here, save the script, you can see that there is a destroyed vase uh, section for us to put something in there. That's that game object that was in the script, uh, which is why that's important. So we can actually assign that to either something in our scene or an asset. So we're going to assign that to that broken asset that we set up with the physics. So now uh, that script, the game object, destroyed vase, is already set to that broken vase we had. So when it hits the floor, it's going to replace, basically, this whole vase with the broken one. So let's see if that works here. There you go. And it just drops in the vase here. Although you may have noticed one thing, the vase kind of rotates very suddenly. Um, that is because 
you can see the vase prefabs and the broken vase are rotated differently. Now, this may not be too much of an issue, um, but if it is, you know, maybe you have a bigger object or something like that, you can go into the script uh, and change those rotation values that we have. I'm not going to change it very much here just because it looks just fine since it's a, a smaller uh, object. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the basic idea of how to how to make an object breakable. Something else you can do is uh, you can take these individual pieces if you want to and kind of chain it up. You know, make a bunch of uh, large broken pieces and then make smaller ones that break at a slightly larger velocity. So you can make a single object seem very complex in the way that it breaks uh, for a pretty simple. You know, not you don't have to dynamically make it all. You just break the object up and and uh, and uh, replace it slowly with smaller and smaller pieces using the same uh, same uh, technique. So that's making a uh, breakable object in 3D. Obviously, you will need a whole and a broken version of the model. So if you want to kind of edit it and make your own, those are the two things that you will need, um, as well as a script. So yeah, that's the whole uh, how to make a breakable object pretty simply in Unity.